Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. And this time it's going to be on Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Or, you know, as most people just call it, Birds of Prey. It took me a long time to fully get the entire title. I mean, say the entire title. Like... <laughs> Anyways, let's just let's just talk about the movie. In this movie, Harley Quinn and the Joker have broken up. They've gone their separate ways now, and Harley Quinn is on her own. She has an apartment, she gets a pet hyena, and she's committing crimes on her own. And there are bad guys out there that want to go after her because of the bad stuff that she's done to them. So now they're against them. So it's villain versus villains, pretty much. But uh, she meets a young girl, and uh, she has to protect her from Evan McGregor's bad guy character, Black Mask, I, Black Mask or Black Skull, uh, I, I, I'm not entirely sure, and uh, she uh, meet, meets a bunch of other people, um, like, this isn't just about her, this is also about, you know, a bunch of other characters getting to, together to become the Birds of Prey, and this is, of course, based off the comic, and I know nothing about the comic because I'm a movie guy, I'm not, an, I'm not a graphic novel guy, I don't read comic books or graphic novels or books in general, I'm a movie person, this, this is what this channel's about, and video games as well, and once in a while I'll talk about TV shows, even though I haven't done that for years, so I, I might have to scratch that. You know, I kind of forgot that I never actually saw Suicide Squad in the theaters, and in 2016 I started seeing a lot more movies. Like, from each year after that year, I started seeing more movies. And, uh, you know, I did see Batman vs. Superman, but I haven't seen Suicide Squad. Um, I watched it from home in, like, November of 2016. Uh, I, I, I did review it on my channel. I said it was a good movie. Um, my mom actually got me the movie on Blu-ray for Christmas of 2016. And I rewatched it, even though... You don't really have to watch Suicide Squad in order to fully get this movie. Rewatching it, it doesn't hold up. I can definitely see where the flaws are. But, you know, I'm not really going to get into that. I, it's just, I can't believe I didn't actually see that in the theater. And, honestly, I'm not really upset that I didn't. Because, uh, honestly, it, it it's pretty messy. I didn't, I didn't hate it as much as Batman vs. Superman. I will say, the best part was easily Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. So, it's great that they gave her her own movie, okay? It's R-rated, she can do whatever she wants, but, you know, because, you know, it's called Birds of Prey, and it's not just about her, although, you know, Harley Quinn is in the title, so... Except, you know, it doesn't focus on the Birds of Prey, it focuses more on Harley Quinn, which might be a disappointment to some, but, you know, that's honestly what I kind of expected, because... It does. It focuses a lot more on Harley Quinn. I mean, they do try to develop the other characters, but I don't think they're as as, as well-developed as I was hoping for them to be. That's, that's one problem I have with Suicide Squad. The characters were really poorly developed, and they're supposed to be, like, really cool characters from the comics. Um, but, you know, I think the characters in this are slightly a little bit well better developed. N not by a long shot. I mean... It's mostly Harley Quinn's story. I mean, she narrates throughout a lot of the movie, and uh, she talks a lot. Like, she mentions a bunch of bad guys, like, you know, how, you know, how people hated on her, how she became enemies with them. It, it can be very funny. Like, kind of like the Deadpool, kind of like the DC Deadpool female movie, except, you know, it's not really as clever as the first Deadpool. I think it's kind of like, you know... It's kind of on par with the second Deadpool. How that movie was good, but not quite as great as the first movie. Uh, this was definitely a lot better than Suicide Squad. While it's definitely not a sequel to Suicide Squad. Just like the entire MCU, nothing's a sequel to Iron Man except Iron Man 2 and 3. I mean, we're getting Suicide Squad 2, but, you know, it, we're getting a better director, hopefully. Alright, so let's get into the action. The action is very well paced. It's a very fast paced movie. It's less than two hours long. It's about an hour and 49 minutes and the movie will go by really fast. That is a really, really well paced film, okay? The action sequences kind of remind me a lot like John Wick. John Wick's action sequences. And they're definitely a lot better in here than they were in Suicide Squad. Why am I talking about Suicide Squad? Like, let's just forget that that movie exists and just talk about this movie, okay? And, uh, you know, the movie is very nice to look at, okay? Sets, it looks absolutely spectacular. 
It's a very colorful looking film, which is one thing the DCU has definitely been improving on lately. I mean, I don't think this is part of the DCU. Let's just say that's what DC movies have definitely improved on. And this is definitely one of the better films. And I don't think, you know, DC makes complete terrible movies. I mean, sure, they definitely made some mediocre ones, but, you know, Shazam, Wonder Woman, come on. They're, they're good at making movies. Hell, Aquaman. I, I thought that was a pretty fun film. Um, I actually say I like this a bit more than Aquaman. I mean, Aquaman was silly fun. This is more, like, serious fun, okay? Like, it isn't, like, the action sequences aren't entirely cheesy, okay? While, you know, it definitely goes for a more comedic, you know, you know, tone and more lighthearted. Unlike, you know, Joker, you know, the Joker movie, I mean... That has nothing to do with this movie, but I'm just saying that's honestly one of probably their best, uh, DC's best movie in like a really, really long time. I mean, we all know Joaquin Phoenix is going to win Best Actor for that. I guess my overall cons with the film are, you know, the side characters, and they're not as well developed as I was hoping for them to be. But, you know, for a movie that's just about Harley Quinn, if you take all those characters out, you got yourself probably the best DCU movie in a really long time. Why am I saying DCU? It's not part of the DCU. DC. The DC movies. Also, I liked Edwin McGregor's performance. I thought he was great as the villain. And all in all, you know, it. Uh, I had I had a really good time with this. I, I saw it with my friend Matthew Bailey, which is really surprising. Ever, th ever since I saw The Joker, he asked if I wanted to see this as well. And... That's that's pretty great right there. And, you know, all in all, we both had a great time with this, okay? It's uh, definitely not a perfect film. It could have had way better characters, at least development. But, you know, it's it's definitely a fun time. And I think, you know, you know, if you have a girlfriend or your boyfriend and Valentine's Day is coming up, uh, definitely see this as a couple, even though, you know, it's not really a romantic film because, you know, Harley Quinn and the Joker broke up in this movie. But, you know... Uh, that's okay, because we didn't we didn't really want to see Jared Leto again as the Joker, did we? I think there were talks about, you know, rumors that there might be Harley Quinn Joker movie. Just get someone that's other than Jared Leto, okay? I mean, <laughs> but, but yeah, that's, that's all I should say about that. I'm going to get Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, or Birds of Prey, a four out of five, so yeah. I, I'm really surprised. I, I'm glad I enjoyed this movie, okay? I'm, I'm really glad that I enjoyed this film, okay? Some people are definitely split on this film, but, you know, I think all in all, it's worth the experience. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.